bad. We're live. Woo! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shop Talk. Adam with Hill Vending here with Mike. Mike. And Alex. And in today's episode, we're gonna go over the importance of positivity, okay? The importance of staying upbeat and positive with your vending accounts and in general with uh, business in general, right guys? So to start, Mike actually um, this week had an interaction with an, with an account, with a hostile account. So I'm gonna have him share that story and uh, tell you about some different tactics that we use to uh, handle it. So Mike? Yeah, earlier this week at one of our, a little bit newer accounts, um, and actually, it was actually admin, a lady came up to me, uh, almost verbally attacking me about our drink prices, dollar cans. Um, she made it really, really personal. I walk into the door with a bin in my hands and she goes, what are you guys crazy? Like charging dollar cans? And I was a little bit caught off guard. She's like, I'm the ad man. I used to do this before, blah, blah, blah. But um, I felt like I was personally attacked and it was, you know, here at Hill Vending, we're really big on just staying calm and diffusing the situation. And uh, so basically I went back and forth with her and I was like, well, listen, I don't set the drink prices. You know, I can talk to my boss, this and that. Um, a little bit more to that story as well as we just spent five grand on an outdoor vending machine because the admin had to have it outside. So our reason for going to the dollar cans was the snack was a bit slow. We needed to pay this machine off and really the dollar cans didn't make any difference in sales. Um, so it's just really important to not take anything too personal. Always diffuse the situation because you can take it negative and take it personal and start telling them legitimate or not the reasons why you're charging dollar cans and they might take it the wrong way so it's really important to just you know stay positive I mean you don't ever have to give them a hard yes or no right there you want to you know you want to have some sort of plausible deniability maybe to give you time to think the situation out and always just say I'll look into it or talk to my boss if that's an option so, yeah that's a good point give mm -hmm. time to think about it Alex you got any uh yeah it happens every day in vending 90 percent of the responses we get are positive maybe 10 percent are negative uh if someone says they lost money in the machine, like a coin jam in the machine, we give them a refund, and then maybe they get a free product as well. So you can always make it right um, for each situation. Yeah, I would say uh, agreeing too. Yeah. You know, if they say that it's uh, too high in any situation, you go, well, I agree with you. You want to diffuse the situation, mm -hmm. and that person may be having a bad day. They may be, uh, you know, you don't know what's going on in their personal life. And they feel like they want to take it out on the vending guys or, or girls and uh, you know give you a piece of their mind. So you just like Mike was saying, keep a keep a cool head mm -hmm. and um, you know stay positive, right? Yeah, you have to. Like you said, you don't know what kind of day someone's having. We do have that where people try to. It seems like they're just attacking us and want to take it out on us. And we have had times where that person will come back and apologize, say I was having a bad day or whatever. Whereas if you had you reacted harshly, it could have gone beyond that. You other people in the account might have seen you acting that way, and you could lose the account over that. So this seems like pretty <clears throat> common sense stuff, but you'd be surprised at how many uh, vendors we've talked to who who they get attacked, and it does feel personal because they literally are personally attacking you. Mm -hmm. um, but their 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 aim is the vending machine, so you don't want to take it personally. They're mad at the vending machines, not you personally. Um, but vendors in our area where they'll they've lost accounts because they lashed out at the wrong uh, person that that machine the account that we helped uh, install over in Tampa the reason that that gentleman lost the account was because uh, a woman complained to him and he snapped on her but that woman was the boss's daughter so he he was negative and didn't stay positive and if it was maybe a secretary or somebody that didn't matter it wouldn't uh, nothing would have happened but they lost the account because uh, he lost his cool, so it, mm -hmm. it just goes to show the importance. Yep. I mean, even if it's not admin, too, like being nice to the customers, if you get on a customer's bad side, they're not going to want to use your machines. They might sabotage you, but if you can stay on even the customer's good side, anyone just be nice to them because it can be an extra sale. It can mean all the difference in the world. You really never know. That's a good point, too, yeah. a, a sabotage. Mm -hmm. You know, a certain, a certain accounts, you know, manufacturing or some of these accounts where, you know, if you, if you make them angry, they may put dirty coins or sticky coins mm -hmm. or something in your machines to to get back at you so i think that's just the main the main point is to stay positive and take mm -hmm. the high road because um you don't know what what response they're going to take yeah so and we, we have we actually have one account where we got it because the guys filling the machines 
they took things personal. And I, I will say, I, the people at this account are kind of tough to deal with. But he was having a bad day. He took things personal, and he went and actually cussed out the receptionist, I believe, over something, an encounter he had in the vending machine room. And uh, we got the account because of it. Now, I will say that some of these people that we're dealing with, it is tough to deal with them, but we're always professional. We're always, you know, we're always catering to them within reason, within reason. But um, and it's become a better account. They're starting to respect us and the, the money, the revenue's going up. So, you know, you just don't ever want to, don't ever want to blow up on anybody. Yeah. Anything to add, Alex, or kind of, kind of hit all the, yeah, uh, yeah. we covered it, kind of covered it. But yeah, so that's the basic key. The basic takeaway from this shop talk, appreciate you guys watching, is to you're going to run into hostile situations. You're going to run into negative people, but you have to stay positive. You have to understand that it's a, a, a business and the vending machines are not you personally. If the machine took their money, you know, just give them a refund. Stay positive. Don't don't uh, get in confrontations with customers. Um, and if you guys are interested in learning more about vending business, if you haven't checked out our new ebook <clears throat> link uh, will be uh, in the description. You can check that out and basically give the foundation because that's what really people need is a foundation of how to be successful in vending. Mm -hmm. You know, vending on its own is easy. You put product in the machine and you pull money out. But as we all know, and if you have any experience in vending, you know that there's there's more to that. Right. And um, yeah, basically this ebook is going to lay the correct foundation for you to start or grow uh, your own vending business so that you don't lose thousands of dollars buying the wrong equipment or buying the wrong accounts. So, right. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys. Have any questions for us or like to see us cover any other topics, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And uh, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh. See you guys.